I am the ruler of this town of Aranja. Hearing of your reputation as a perfectly enlightened Buddha, I wish to have a Dhamma discussion with you. But why is it that when I, your senior in years, arrive here, you make no gesture of respect? Don't rise up to welcome me, and don't invite me to sit on the same level as you. Varanja Brahmin, in this world or in any other world, I have not yet met anyone superior in Dhamma to me to whom I should make a gesture of respect. Stand up to welcome or offer my seat. It's my view that your way of practicing and conducting yourself is quite tasteless. Brahmin, my way is indeed tasteless. I have abandoned the taste of the sensual pleasures of form, taste, smell, sound, and bodily touch. But I am not tasteless in the way that you understand it. You have no assets. You teach non-action and praise annihilation. And furthermore, I would say that you are loathsome. Brahman, I have no assets or wealth because such things consist of forms, tastes, smells, sounds, and touches. Venerable Brahman, I teach non-wrong action, non-evil action by body, speech, and mind. I praise the annihilation of lust, hatred, and delusion. Brahman, loathsome is bodily misconduct, verbal misconduct, mental misconduct. I loathe all that is evil and unwholesome. But I am not at all loathsome in the way that you believe. You teach eradication, destruction. You teach non-arising and non-birth. Brahman, I teach the Dharma for the eradication of lust, hatred, and delusion, and for the eradication of all unwholesome states. I teach the destruction of bodily misconduct, verbal misconduct, and mental misconduct. Because these are things which are worthy of destruction, I have attained the state of non-arising and non-birth by abandoning the causes of birth and becoming. I speak only the truth in response to your comments. The truth is not as you understand it to be. Pay attention, Venerable Varanja Brahmin, and I will teach you the Dharma. Sending your mind outside and seeking faults in others is a cause for suffering. Reflecting internally, developing awareness of one's own mind is the path. Niroda, the end of suffering, is its fruit. The Dharma teaching you have given has illuminated the way for me. For the rest of my life, I take the Triple Gem as my refuge, and please may I invite you to spend the Rains Retreat here in order to teach the Dharma to the citizens of Varanja. <laughs>